Hello Magic family, welcome back on Magic Raven Tarot channel. Uh, for those of you who are new here, you are welcome on this channel. I hope you will receive uh, all the messages that you needed right now. Uh, I have more videos so you can shuffle and look exactly uh, what interests you. And for today's reading, we're going to find out secrets that someone you think of or it's on your mind doesn't really tell you so we have three piles as usually and i'm gonna use these oracle cards today i really like them very much and let's see what is happening what secrets so for pile number one what secrets they are not telling you and you could think of anyone if you think of more people you can pick up more piles for each person in part All right. so we have three piles take your time and meditate about which pile you feel drawn to which crystal attracts you the most and uh, See you at the shuffling process. All right, so now I have on my left side the oracle cards, on my right side the tarot cards. We're gonna use one oracle card from each deck, and uh, we're gonna use three or three tarot cards from the first two decks and two tarot cards from the last deck. So let's see what secrets this person that you are thinking of holds and doesn't want to tell you for pile number one and now for pile number two i would like and for pile number three Secrets that someone you think of or it's on your mind doesn't really tell you. And those secrets can be something that they are aware of or something that probably they are not really aware of. Like with the moon card, that things come at surface and it could surprise both parts. <laughs> For pile number one, what secrets they don't want to say to my pile number one? Wait, let's pull one more. And now for pile number two. And now I would like to know for pile number three what secrets they are not saying. All right. For pile number one. I will take this. This. And one more. For pile number two. All right.
And now for file number three. Oh, I saw you. Second. And one more card. Okay. And now we're going to pull just two tarot cards from this deck. The second one. see the pile number two. All right, and three. Perfect. Now we have the cards. Take your time. Think about which pile you feel drawn to, which crystal appeals to you the mostly. You can think of a person, uh, especially it could be anyone. If you think of more people, you are free to pick up more piles. So uh, just follow your inner voice, follow your intuition and trust the process that the universe is really guiding you and brings you the messages that actually are accurate. So let's go to the reading. Hey, pile number one, those of you who choose this beautiful amethyst, it looks like this. It's a little bit purple. Let's see the cards and let's see the person that you are thinking of that it's on your mind, what secrets they are not telling you. So it could be information that are actually positive or negative. So I'm curious, pile number one. We have Mises. Hmm. Definitely they are in a last situation here. We have Bloom. Um, I think this is from the Secret Garden. Oracle. We do have staff with stability. So they are kind of working towards their security and stability where they feel like they are evolving here, but they struggle with some injustice situation here. I can see it. Yeah, definitely. We have the Ten of Wands. A lot of burdens and struggling and it could be basic stuff like relating to food or money but kind of not their fault entirely let's see more we have the five of pentacles oh god feeling abandoned some of it could be a no contact situation or feeling restricted it's like they don't really have access to basic stuffs. We also have Seven of Pentacles. Hmm, and they are kind of looking with this inner light. Some of you, your person might be a parent, and they are kind of looking towards this Seven of Pentacles energy where their work is actually paid off. But they struggled so much and i feel here um fire signs aries leo sagittarius we have also pentacles which is earth element taurus capricorn virgo energy getting it we have the transformation card which is the death card interesting and I see a child here. It's like they are not going alone through this. We have the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups.
and it could be related also to the relationship that they have with their inner child you can see here we do have the page of fire energy We have the Eight of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. Once again, the Five of Pentacles. We have here the Five of Pentacles again from a different deck. For your person. So pile number one. I'm, and we have also um, water signs here. It could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, even Pisces coming through. So the secrets that this person doesn't really tell you with the Mises energy, the primer uh, oracle card, I see here that there is something that brings stress and anxiety and even sickness and it's like this person it's surrounded by an energy of gradual destruction and decay and it's like no regard for ownership and rapidly gnawing away when nobody is looking and the mices usually are uh, symbolic for loss and this leaves the mind very troubled so they might be going through some sort of loss as I felt here that it could be related to actually basic stuffs like money, uh, food, uh, shelter. And I see that things didn't really work out the way that they want to. And it could be a situation that actually they couldn't control it no matter how much hard work they paid off, no matter how much effort they put into. It could be that the way how they related to it wasn't equally from the other sides the other people who actually is supposed to be equal with them because i'm seeing them putting a lot of effort into it and a lot of action as well and changes that they made that they are going through and they made so i see that the person that you are thinking of um it could be also for some of you, a situation where this person might have someone in their life who actually enter in their house, in their space and steal or they are quite stressed with work where other people might destroy something because I, I'm kind of seeing them looking, working hard with the Ten of Wands energy and looking towards creating this stability and this security where they feel like they are blooming because here we have bloom and attract more than butterflies so they are working towards a higher goal not, not just uh, butterflies are beautiful but they don't live long they are temporary seasonal and i'm seeing them that they actually want to attract into their lives longer term more stability more security where there is it's not um a way of living temporary but it creates some sort of stability in their lives and they quite struggle with that and i also see that the ten of wands brings a lot of responsibilities and obligations uh, they kind of feel burned out and they might have been restricted in some areas also it could be relationships uh, acting communicating uh, putting their passions or into projects and i also see that uh, they feel now that they got it now that they got they didn't got it so it slips through their fingers and they keep looking with hope with the five of pentacles which repeats two times they keep looking with hope towards this stability that they actually want to create but they kind of feel like if if it is to uh, define the energy that i'm getting from pi, from your person for pile number one and resume everything to one single card it comes to me the uh, well of fortune reversed because everything that they uh, all the effort and everything that they do it feels like it doesn't actually pay off and they are just going through a bad time right now 
but they didn't lose the hope also. So they carry this light within and they are aware of this uh, pattern. And actually with the Ten of Wands here um, and with the Ten of Cups under the Ten of Wands, I see that they uh, actually feel a lot of sat uh, satisfaction and pleasure in helping others, in helping family, in helping friends, in just be there for the others and do things for the others. Uh, they also like to be in service of the others, but um, they carry so many burdens and only them actually they can choose which one to carry and which one to let it down. And even if they have this satisfaction in helping others, uh, they definitely took too much on their shoulders. So they are exhausted and drained because they are doing too much for the others. And actually, those burdens that they carry on belongs to the others. So they're kind of trying to be everything for everybody. And in the end, they will reach a point where they, uh, they can't do anything anymore, even for themselves. And actually, that doesn't really benefit them or those people whom they love. And I'm seeing here that they channel this energy towards this stability, but in the same time, met on the road with people who took them for granted and who used them. Um, it could be a stealing situation or someone who actually entered in their um, area. It could be... Uh, a relationship or even a friendship some friends that take them for granted and they continue to help them and they might be keeping this a secret towards you because they just can't stop that feeling of helping the others but they quite see with the transformation and they see the situation that they arrive that they need to change some patterns and I also see that they are quite aware of the situation where there was an injustice created and it could be related also to work, not necessary uh, interpersonal relationship. It could be a situation where they work somewhere and other people are doing uh, unfair things and they quite see that. And they notice that, but in the same time, they do want to play fair and they want to create stability and create more than just tangible uh, but temporary satisfactions. And because I'm kind of seeing them working for this Ten of Cups, which is the ultimate uh, card from the Cups Suite, when it comes about emotions and feelings and satisfaction. And I do also see here that they might be struggling with uh, finan finances. And the, it feels like they are going through some sort of negative changes more because of the circumstances here uh, and they lost money or they didn't receive the money that they were expecting to and they kind of feel that the world is against them uh, they feel the bad luck it's on their house right now and probably uh, some of you your person that you are thinking of might have lost a job or they are going through a breakup or distress it could be a divorce with scandal and here they kind of feel left out in the cold and feeling abandoned and for some of you your person might be having might be a parent or really uh, having a lot of responsibilities i see here but they keep carrying this light within like i see here the five windows with the light and here this house with this lights also and I'm seeing that they actually have so much hope and faith to arrive uh, and go through this transition and transformation to arrive at this energy of Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles, it's like when your hard work, it's paid off. And um, the manifestation of your ideas and goals, actually. And I see them that they actually have perseverance and they are patient they do have plans and they might be on a crossroad right now trying to finish what they've started and they also reflect on um, their work and energy the effort that they put in uh, into it how it will grow and they also need to wait for things to come to fruition i'm kind of seeing here because they 
planted the seed and now they are waiting and actually they with the ten of wands energy here it's just a choice of leaving these burdens that don't belong to them leaving them away and just carry on what they can right now what belongs to them and um actually not put so much effort actually they don't have to work so hard anymore they don't have to put so much effort because uh that time passed and they reflect right now at the results if those the results are the ones that they hoped for and they reflect also at this mice's energy those people who actually took them for granted or are doing um i feel the energy of a thief here and i don't see that it's them i see that are people around them and it might be also that they are actually involved in a long-term project which could bring them stability and security financial uh, but it also it could be um i'm seeing so many things here <laughs> like they are waiting for something important here and if they choose to not push harder like with the ten of wands energy that they carry on until now if they don't push harder then um it won't hurt waiting and they need to be patient and see what happens so just, they just should take a brief breath in and relax and i'm seeing also that they are going through this transformation with the card and i'm seeing here a child so it could be that some of you your person is dealing with uh kids or their inner child or a project that they put effort into and they see how it transforms and it could be also a change of behavior, a change of pattern of thinking. They definitely go through a lot of changes right now. It's a sudden change with the transformation card. And I feel that they are going through a spiritual transformation, actually, where there is a new beginning. Uh, it's like they are letting go the old uh, relationships, work patterns. And they go through this transition and they are changing and they do know that life um, evolves through cycles of birth death and rebirth so they are going through the this transformation where they realize nothing remains the same and in this time of transition that they are going through they might be um they just need to allow uh, this to happen for the highest good because they are colored to let go the old and welcome the new here and they might be keeping that a secret towards you these struggles that they are going through how bad actually it is right now for them with the food with the money with the shelter with everything that they with the friends perhaps the relationship the people that they trust so they kind of keep it for themselves uh, because they focus so much on what actually they want to create and they do know that this information created already so much distress within and for the people who were affected and i feel here the kids child or even inner child and uh, it brings so much anxiety that they feel that if they put if they give you this information it will put even more pressure on into you and just the stress will just grow more and there is no solution in that and i'm seeing also here that uh, your person the one that you are thinking of they might be also um, going through some happy reunions here but it could be that those re reunions with family with friends uh, it could be with children they kind of feel happy with them uh, they feel creative and they have fun uh, they feel fulfilled and blessed, but it might be that the uh, feeling it's not uh, reciprocating somehow because they are the ones who are taking so many burdens. They are the ones who jump to help. They are the ones who want to do a lot of things for the others and they do not allow to the other um, people to actually take responsibility for their own burdens. But it could be a situation also where your person could be a parent and they just keep those things for themselves, including towards their children. So they could, um, the 
children could actually go through this transformation by feeling satisfaction, pleasure, joy, um, having energy and pleasure towards what they want to learn and experiences, even if on the, on the flip side, the parent might have going through all of those situations. So it's quite interesting how the reading is for pile number one. And it's not necessarily has to be a parent-child situation. It could be also a work situation, struggling with money and learning something new here with the page of fire, which is the page of wand. But I see that even if they are going through this struggle here, where they feel restricted, abandoned and left out in the cold, they also will receive soon some good news. It could be letters or phone calls, but with their nature, like I'm seeing here, um, I'm getting fire signs and um, earth signs, very connected to the nature, very connected to the action, very passionate and inspired and concerned about their health, concerned about basic stuff. Uh, they also want to create a lot and they want to learn a lot. So I feel like there is this inner conflict within themselves where they want to create so much and they have so much inspiration and they want to learn so much but in the same time the foundation when it comes about their health what they eat what, what they drink where they sleep how they sleep uh it's it doesn't sustain them to make them feel stable and i feel like it's a very sad situation because your person I feel that their energy, it's the type of child or adult that actually deserves everything on the table when it comes about their goals and ideas. Like it's the type of person who actually deserves to, to really help them. And I'm seeing here also that they might feel adventurous. They may be starting a project they are acting towards this idea and it's like they find their purpose and satisfaction and pleasure here and it's interesting because they found this exactly in those moments they were going through and i also feel that they are actually guided for what they desire and they are guided towards this project or what they want to learn with their inner light, their hope, their faith that they will arrive in this stage of transition of uh, Seven of Pentacles energy where they actually reap the fruits of the plants that they seeded. And I also see that there is speed here. I'm kind of seeing her like she's having the skirt like an umbrella so the air really um, gives her a speed in action, inspiration, and projects. It could be a relationship also. They struggle a bit, but now the, a little bit more, but now the road is actually clear and they might be obsessed with something, but their hard work will be paid off. And I see here like this woman is feeling the change uh, the transformation through her hair, how the wind blows, and she knows it's time to act. So there are some changes in the air here. And I see also that this, the other representation of the Five of Pentacles, she's kind of staying in the, in the snow. And after this long journey, she has no energy anymore, or he has no energy anymore. Uh, your person is feeling exhausted and the thorn rose symbolize uh, her or his painful loss and poverty and the five windows symbolize hope and spiritual support so in her or his despair they actually don't see the help that it's available so they choose to keep it for themselves this despair uh, and just go alone through this transformation and this is the type of reading where i where actually it's confirmed that they keep this a secret as you for you towards you because 
um, they might have also issues with their health, issues, basic issues with their health, with money, they struggle and it's like they lost something, uh, something concerning their health. And I see here food. So it might be that they actually struggle with this and they keep looking towards this state that they want to transform into and bloom this stability and why i'm saying that your person is keeping this secret also the confirmation is that while they are going through this and they feel despair for their loss for their poverty she's looking she's with her face here she's aware of the trans or he is aware of the transformation it's it happens very rap uh, fast here and it's like they don't want to look towards this situation and talk about this situation it's like they refuse with the head on this side they just don't want to put more pressure and stress and anxiety into the other people's lives it could be a, i'm kind of sensitive here if it is to make one single card of this reading or two cards this person is really guided by uh, the well of fortune in reverse because they are going through a misfortune and bad luck right now and the star because they have their hope and i i'm also um, seeing that your person might be also restricted to tell you all of this that they are going through because they might be carrying this wound of um, not asking help uh, from the others. It feels like the childhood wound of uh, I'm doing this by myself and I have to prove to myself that I can do this no matter what the bad circumstances are. So they are definitely a survivor. But uh, sometimes it's good to ask help. Sometimes it's good to open yourself and talk. But as I said, the circumstances are not favorable right now. So they might be keeping all of this for themselves and not actually open up towards you. So that was an interesting reading for pile number one. Uh, if you feel like you are thinking on more persons, you are feel to, uh, to choose other piles as well. That was my reading and I hope you really gathered the information that you needed here and they are helpful. So see you at the next reading. Bye. File number two, you choose the red jasper crystal and it looks like this. It's quite beautiful. I love this color. And let's see the cards. Let's see what your person, the person that you are thinking of, the person that it's on your mind, what secrets they actually don't tell you. So for pile number two, we have fish. We have persevere. We do have lady goddess with feminine we also have the full energy so i feel like they are um, taking a leap of faith here with the full energy towards their feminine divine or it could be connecting with uh, their feminine within we also have the five of cups that's interesting now i see we have this full energy here with the seaside, the water, and we have water also here. So I'm kind of getting it 
uh, strong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And with this Five of Cups, it's like this card completes the picture if we look at the waves and the water. And it could be that it's about their emotions, their feelings. We also have the Queen of Swords energy. I'm getting here air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have the page of air, which is the page of swords. We have the seven of cups. I see a lot of water here and air element. We have the call. The call it's like the judgment card. We also have the well of fortune. And we have the King of Swords with the female archetype. Yeah, so, and we have the King of Swords, the female archetype, and we have the Queen of Swords also. And we have the Lady Goddess Feminine. So I'm kind of feeling that your person actually is really connecting with their div uh, feminine divine within. And it could be also that they. Uh, really get in touch with all of their feelings, their emotions. And it's interesting the process that they are going through because even if it's um, the situation presents itself like this, they are kind of seeking uh, advices and they are looking towards with a lot of logic, uh, a lot of uh, com the complex situation. They look truthfully, very clear, very rational, very grounded. And it's interesting. So at the first glance, I see that the secrets that this person doesn't actually tell you is that, first of all, they might be, for some of you, it could be that your person is dealing with something in commerce or sales, and it's like they are trading something here. And they are dealing with some resources and money with the fish here. And it could be related also to a place where to live or um, it's like they change. They might have changed homes. They might have changed uh, something and trade something here because these three fishes from here symbolize div uh, diving into depth to gather food and abundance. And they are making the most of the resources that they possess, but they also speculate to accumulate. And with the full energy, I see that actually they feel free and innocent. They might be traveling. And there is this uh, lack of commitment here where they feel spontaneous for a new beginning. And they, connecting with their divine feminine, it feels like they want to speculate everything and leave no stone unturned. Like they even, they look on all of the facets so they could gain something from here. And I also see that they embrace the unknown. They reached a point where they close their eyes and jump into the unknown. And they, they really took a leap of faith because they believe. They simply believe. They might have probably hesitated until now to take a deep decision. Uh, because they might have been in the past afraid to take this big decision that, that could change their whole life or even making a small change that can shake the things up. So this time they are like listening to their God after all. They are sure that this adventure they, that they went into, if it doesn't go well, at least they learn something from it and really accumulate life experiences and grow. And they might be keeping that a secret towards you. The fact that they changed, they shifted this way of dealing with things. Uh, they are not afraid anymore and they 
go through some changes and they just assume a lot of risk here with the full energy. I also see that they might feel sad over a heartbreak here with the Five of Cups. And they might be grieving something or they lost something, they mourn. Uh, but they also focus on the negative emotions at the moment, or at least they become aware of this in a rational way. They become aware of all of those emotions. And I'm kind of seeing here like the flux of the water. So they just came at surface and they have to deal with it. They can't suppress it anymore. They are not afraid anymore to suppress them. They take a leap of faith and will leave with uh, looking at it rationally, that they can actually change that. And I'm seeing also that some of you, this person might ke keep a secret from you that they might be going through a separation right now where they are feeling angry and disappointed. They might be feeling ruined and they are kind of focused on the negative that they are missing um, the good stuff. In life, things can go bad. And probably they made plans, they worked hard, everything was set it up, and then boom, disaster suddenly. Like, I'm kind of getting here an information like, I don't know, like their car broke, and, um, or the perfect vacation gets rained out or they might have wounded themselves in the process exactly with a couple of days before a big event and so on. So they're actually focusing on the bad stuff that happened to them and they forget about all the good. And it's up to how they look at things. Glass half full or glass half empty. And it's like they are crying over spilled milk here. And they should look around at things that are working for them and count their blessings. If there is no milk to drink, then they can drink lemonade. <laughs> and I feel like they might be keeping this to themselves and not really telling you that they actually are in such a dark place somehow, emotionally, and that they have to deal with these emotions once for all and not suppress them. But I'm seeing that actually they do have help, but they are not, they are not seeing. I'm seeing your person looking towards the spillet glass and actually behind her or his back it's this counselor this mother figure this uh, queen of swords energy but i'm seeing also stepping into in the end so your person uh it could be that they have also um someone around them who is honest and protective, uh, very communicative, and they are quite realistic and strong. Some of them, they might be seeking advices at their mothers or a counselor. And it's definitely someone who actually solve problems and see clearly the things. So they kind of seem wisey here, powerful and in control. Uh, but this person could help them actually to cut through the nonsense and take charge of their own life. Um, they have experience and they might seek advice of someone like that. Someone who really see the truth clearly, have a broad vision and take wisey, smart decision. And this, it's kept as a secret towards you. I see here with the page of air, which is the page of swords, that some news might be delayed, but they kind of feel inspired and protective and guarded. But there are some gossips around them also. And they are also curious about something. They have new ideas. They focus on something new here. And they might be learning something. They investigate something without yet uh, acting. Um, it's like they are studying a situation or a person by afar. It could be a stalking thing also. And they find a lot of interesting things. But they also know they do not know all yet. So they just want to explore new ways of thinking because they want to learn new things I'm seeing here. 
and they have a lot of options actually with the ten of, with the seven of cups a lot of choices and decisions they also fantasize a lot they use their imagination very much but they quite feel very creative in an artistic way and it seems like this person that you are thinking of has many unleashed abilities they are trying to remain flexible and open and i'm seeing them also going through some sort of self-reflection and self-evaluation with the call which is the judgment card they even reflect and evaluate themselves over this attitude that they used to have this negative pattern that they carried within when the emotions were coming at surface they were focusing on the negative and i'm kind of seeing here that they are going through this transformation and they, it's like an awakening for them where they step into this power of queen of swords energy where they see the truth as it is it's like and that's quite beautiful actually because it's not that they go from a place of thinking negative and seeing all the time the half empty of the half glass empty but and they just don't jump directly towards uh being positive they do jump in the situation where they have this faith and hope but they are not acting yet and they go through the process by taking the things as they are so probably then the shift will occur and it could be that this sort of transformation that they are going through they just keep it those experiences the this self-reflection to for them without really sharing those things with you and i'm seeing also that um they are kind of awakening here and some of them they might suffer of homesickness it could be that they it might not resonate with all of you but i'm kind of feeling that they had to take a, a rational decision where they may have been traveling over the sea or in an, on another land and uh, this created these uh, feelings for some of you it could be a situation where this person is missing their female counterpart the connection that they have with their mother figure and i'm seeing also that i i feel here that they feel called somehow to a more deeper and authentic relationship with themselves with their higher power and with the others and they do know that they are here for a reason so they kind of step forward into their true self and they express uh, that through their actions uh, they might be not a type of person who is telling you but actually who is showing you and they trust that life has a purpose and that they are actually enough and with the well of fortune here your person has a karmic depth here but it's a good karma that they created here and it could be that they might have found a soulmate connection or um, we have more soulmates ne necessary only one soulmate can be also your mother or your children's but they are they will have good luck here we see this woman dressed and this dress contains a number of wheels all connected together and the ability to operate depends so much if the other parts are working also so this woman has no power over the process or control over the ups and downs of life and it's like um, their happiness and sadness depends on how the faith is turning and the watch here in the picture symbolizes the eternal cycles of time we are subject to and the clouds in the sky here and i'm seeing here also in here this shows that life is forever changing and they are called to change to change the way how they look at the emotions and so on for some of you it could be a situation where this a person is actually seeking advice elsewhere and they just don't tell you about that about what they are going through and i also see here 
that instead of a sword, like in this picture, this woman holds a needle, and this needle is like pointing out in the in the universe, and she just pick up a star and sew it in the dress. And I, the crown actually symbolizes that this person possesses stellar gifts of intellectual power and mental clarity. And people are kind of listening to her or to him, and they can see the truth in all matters in the end. And the, the stars also symbolize the infinite knowledge that exists in the universe. So they kind of try to adapt mentally. They have many insights. They learn quite fast with the page of air. And they, they also solve the problems. So I'm feeling like your person is stepping into their divine feminine, but with a more complex and clear vision. And they just don't tell you about the, all of those things. The fact that while they are starting to see things clearly and acting very rational and grounded, they still struggle within with some emotions, some feelings, some... Uh, um, I'm seeing like it's just the wave that came with... And actually with the Well of Fortune, this actually could be a very good opportunity for them to um, look at, upon those feelings and emotions that they are dealing with with a more rational approach. And they are also a risk taker here. So they might be hiding to you some impulsive behaviors that they are doing, especially when they are engaging into their emotions and when they are going to see other people to seek advice. And they just hide that from you. And it could be a situation also they actually they have to leave. Uh, the place where they are changing houses, changing land, changing jobs, and so on, and they just don't tell you about that. So that was my reading for pile number two. I hope you took the information that were needed and that they will help you along the process to, to see deeper. And I'll see you at the next reading. Bye! Hey, pile number three, you choose the Lapis Lazuli crystal and it looks like this. It's quite beautiful. So let's see the cards and let's see the person that you are thinking of, the person that it's on your mind, what secret they actually they don't tell you and it could be one or more secrets and it could be something negative or positive so i'm just channeling those messages and see what resonates with you you are free to pick up other piles if you think of more than one persons so let's see the cards for pile number three we have the men Interesting. We do have relax. So that could be a message towards you. We have the book of shadows, secret. Interesting. Definitely they, have, they hold a secret and it could be sometimes also because when we think on secrets, we uh, tend to think that it's something that we don't know and that person knows. But that sometimes I'm kind of getting here the moon energy, which brings a surface what it's in the shadow. And with the book of shadow, I feel like your person, it could be actually going through a process of shadow work where things that they were not aware of as well, things that were kept secrets or mysterious towards them uh, and not just towards you come at surface. And we also have the Ace of Wands energy. So 
so we do have here fire signs uh it's coming through aries leo sagittarius even we have the four of pentacles energy And I feel like your person is doing some sort of savings right now and they are not telling you. Yeah, definitely. And they, uh, they have also the three of wands, which is like foresight and looking into the future. And they want to manifest this. Hmm, interesting. And it's like they are having this wand of creating something and here as well manifesting also we have the eight of earth which is the eight of pentacles so we have here also not just fire signs it's coming through also earth signs like taurus virgo capricorn it's coming through we also have the page of water, which is the page of cups. So we have water signs also, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the four of fire. Which is the four of pentacles under the four of the four of ones sorry under the four of pentacles we also have the king of ones and the nine of pentacles and that's so beautiful actually interesting and they are kind of looking towards each other here all right um so the person that you are thinking of the person that it's on your mind they definitely hold some secrets here which we will take a deep look at it uh they are waiting somebody they are waiting something here and they are quite patient uh, they sit in a quiet endurance i'm getting here and they quite feel romantic towards that uh, but it could be something related also to a father figure um, someone very wisey and ace of as i said before it might be that they actually go through a very deep uh, shadow work with the book of shadow where they hold a journal they prefer to uh, express themselves like that instead of talking to you and it will it that process actually it helps them to relax we have here the message delight in powdered gold sunshine so they kind of and we have the stars also here i'm feeling that your person actually took this um strategy has this copy mechanism to uh, relax them and to really endure everything with patience and reflecting so much on their shadow and i also see that it could be a situation where actually they are dealing with a man with a friend with a father figure who is going through some sort of shadow work and they just don't tell you about that because maybe they want you to relax when it comes about this issue i also see here that the ace of wands there is a new beginning uh, where there are good news and it's like physically they started something uh, where they have initiative they might have found a new passion where they act and they grow and some of them might be traveling feeling quite spontaneous uh, some of your person might give birth to something also it could be um, a project or a child a new idea 
and they feel like uh, in this moment just take that opportunity that energy that the universe present uh, to itself and just run with it and it's like the universe gave them a boost an energy boost and they don't want to miss the opportunity because they see so much potential in it and they are also aware that if I don't take this opportunity right now and I don't do my best with it and take this energy that it's given now I might lose this momentum so I need to do it so they act actually spontaneous here and they are looking towards by doing that they are look, looking to to really save here I'm, I'm seeing saving money with the four of pentacles but um I kind of get it that um, they feel quite creative and they are going through something wonderful, powerful, something that changed their life. And they want to take advantage of all the opportunities that are in front of them because they do know that this won't last forever. And they also have a lot of inner power. They carry this fire energy within themselves with the King of Wands. And they want to channel their stress and energy in the most productive way possible and they just prefer to have this copy mechanism where they just hold for themselves they hold it secret because they want to relax it's easier for them it's easier for the other people perhaps and definitely they want to manifest something here with the three of wands and kind of seeing that uh, there is definitely a traveling action involved here. Some might be planning to move uh, where they have um, confidence that they gain their freedom and success. And it, it feels like they want to spread their wings. But it could be a long-distance romance also or a long-distance uh, connection with another person who carries this divine masculine energy very very strong it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman and i see that some might be trading something where they actually grow and they just keep focused because they feel they nearly uh, they feel very close to their goal and they know that their hard work will be paid off so they kind of close their eyes um, and just envision that i see a visionary energy here and they also uh, keep their eyes on their prize on their goal i see this witch here standing on the cliff and she's like she has her one pointed into distance and all of the focus and attention is directed towards their goal with very calm determination and they are so close to achieve it they don't want to give up now uh, they don't want to spoil it. Uh, they focus so much on this thing that it might take them in a spiral of um, where they miss other things that are in front of them. So they don't really look at the bigger picture at the moment and they quite could get to live in the present because they work so hard for the future. And with the aid of Earth, I see that they might get a new job or build a business and they work hard and they actually want to master that. They feel committed and dedicated and very, very ambitious energy I'm seeing here. It's like they desire this uh, financial security with results and rewards. And those goals actually push them to pay attention to details, to be productive. And some of them might get a scholarship or qualifications. Some of them might be learning something where they gain knowledge and they learn um, or have a new craft or skill. And they kind of take notes about all of those things into their uh, grimoire book, we call it, or um, journal, simply journaling. And they prefer to have this copy mechanism instead of telling you and keep this secret. I'm seeing also that they are kind of with the page of cups here. That they are connected with their inner now and they listen to their inner voice. They, they kind of connected with, they relaxed and they connected with the source. And there is some idealism involved here and sensitivity. 
So they might message happy news towards a crush or an admirer for, for those who resonate with this. Some of them might be getting romantic proposal. They might be engage, uh, engaging like in a relationship, um, like uh, engagement or pregnant or getting married. But uh, it could be also a situation where they just text and message with a friend um, because they kind of look at it in an innocent way with their heart open and quite curious. And it could be for some of you that your person might might start a relationship where they feel uh, playful and optimistic. It could be the beginning of a relationship with the Ace of Wands here. It could be not necessarily a love relationship, but it could be also a friendship. And or a situation where actually the other person is pursuing them because they kind of feel innocent here. They don't feel like they are doing some sort of mistakes or so. They are quite open. And um, they kind of allow themselves to feel like a child and innocent. And some of you, they just, it could be a situation where actually they engage into a circumstance where they go to party or meet with friends. And I also feel that uh, it could be that they are going through some sort of reunion. They want to save some money for a celebration, an event, a meeting, a reunion where they go to party or celebrate something and it could be an event uh, but it's a community with family and friends and getting here and there is this sense of teamwork uh, they are very proud of their achievements and they quite feel creative and they just want to celebrate and they feel pleasure and harmony in their uh, interpersonal relationships or I'm, I'm kind of channeling here I, I i have to say it uh for for some of you it your person might be a dancer or a singer or a musician because uh, they celebrate this i'm seeing here the flute and i'm seeing also here the drums and the violin like it's such a strong energy artistic energy and i also noticed that they celebrate and feel pleasure by doing that and they kind of feel connected in harmony in their relationships and they celebrate the friendships here and the good companies so they kind of want, want to uh, create and co-create with the others also and the king of wands carry this energy of um, experience it in their field they are quite strong friendly and funny and they are motivated to act very proud uh, energy and passionate and why i kind of sense it that it's more a situation and keep a secret about interpersonal relationship with friends and family rather than a situation where actually they involve in another uh, love relationship even if they might be uh, having people around who wants to purse, pursue them I'm kind of seeing here with the King of Wands a loyal energy. And uh, it could be loyalty to their passions, to their hobbies or to their uh, people. A very protective energy, a bold leader energy. But they might be controlling because of their hot temper. So we see this gentleman here with the drum and the flames of fire and this symbolizes the, the kind com confident energy and strong willpower so they are nature a born leader and very creative and people kind of rise up and follow this person so they are very charismatic and inspire others as well and it's like they attract those people who wants to pursue them and wants to be with them and be around them and be led by by them because they have this magnetism where they visualize a lot and create a lot and they want so much with the nine of pentacles to be successful uh, and independent for some of you they might be working on a business or uh, creating something they are very mature and wisey and self-disciplinated 
and they they're like with the book of shadow i'm kind of feeling that instead of coming and talking to you about all the all of this situation or giving really details about uh, a situation um, which uh, doesn't necessarily rela relax you like uh, this person pursue me or this person told me this or this person messaged me this so many information that they prefer to keep noticed organized write down with the, with this and keep it for themselves and i'm also seeing here that um this person from the picture the nine of pentacles she she looks so elegant and beautiful and graceful and some of them might be getting uh, pregnant as well could be a situation of that also but the the vibe of the card it's like they get along pretty good by themselves and they could um um have this uh they can fix fix anything any situation without the help of the others necessary and the woman from the picture um she kind of enjoyed the beauty of her garden and she kind of she she selected those fruits that she carries on her head and she has this colorful jewelries and that symbolizes wealth so your person has a healthy relationship with money and they quite enjoy their financial independence they might be also it might be a situation where they actually in this vibe and they are not telling you because they they like they like to save money and have a lot of money with the year uh, eight of earth and four of pentacles and they are saving for a project for something that they want to create it could be something with the other people and they are just not telling you about that and i'm also seeing here that uh this blue tamed bird she looks tame on her finger this symbolizes their sense of freedom and joy. But they do know that the road to success it's it's slowly and steady. So they prefer to take notes, to write about it. This gives them um enlightenment with the delight in powder and gold sunshine. And I see the sun here. This uh, makes them relax, very relaxed, by even writing about their project. What they, and I see here, now I see. <laughs> the singing notes which it's coming through so strong energy about music creating artistic painting um, so they might be involving in a project like this a lot of color a lot of notes um, and they they it could be a situation also where they create a song i'm kind of getting this vibe here they create a song or they create some sort of artistic endeavor and they just keep it secret so that was my reading for pile number three i hope that it helped you and it could give you more insights uh, and i'm really curious so leave comments in the comment section because all the time i'm reading them i'm, I'm curious to know you as well and see you at the next reading bye